All right, I quickly want to show you uh, how to navigate uh, Replay Baseball a little bit. It's, this is going to be a short one. And uh, here is, uh, I had recently somebody reached out to me and said, hey, how can I control a team? Well, you go over here to the options function. There's a little set of tabs on the right side, menu, tab menu. You go to options, you click on options, and then you're going to see team edit. And you're going to click on team edit. And here, all the teams, and you're going to see that the only two that I have X'd out are the A's. I'm doing an A's replay, but today I played the Minnesota Twins because I wanted to pitch Jerry Kuzman. Yeah, I was celebrating his retirement. So um, that's it. That's all you got to do. And once you're done there, you got to head back to the schedule. And I recommend you navigate all these and become comfortable with what each one brings you so you know what's going on. There's different things that you may want to do, but that's the best way. Just take your time, look them over, ask questions. Uh, so let's go back to the schedule, and I'll show you how to get into the schedule and then how to get a manual input. That's what I'll be doing, manually inputting. I use a scorecard, and then I'll manually input, or I'll just play it straight up, and I'll just input it as I play. But I like to have a scorecard because in case I make a blunder or I forget what happened or I have to backtrack, it's, there's always some documentation of what happened in the game. So this is a game between uh, Minnesota and New York, Guzman versus Underwood. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple ways of doing it. If I go up here to right, the, the top right, there's a pencil, and there's an eraser. There's an erase the inning. There's a save function, and then there's, I guess, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. Ah, it shows you the ballpark issue, you know, the day, the type of day it is, and stuff I don't really use. All right, so um, so basically it's a Willie Randolph single and stole a base, and I'm going to start inputting stuff. I got an, uh, an 8, a 4, and an 8. So that's basically center field, uh, ran out to, to a second, and then an 8. So I, I just did half an inning. Uh, then I got a... The bottom of the inning smaller than Andrew, and it's going to be a 1, a 6, and a K. So that is a ground, ground back to the pitcher, a ground shortstop, and a strikeout. I just finished one inning. So as you can see, this goes pretty fast. The next inning is a 6, single, K, 7. So 6, single, K, and a 7. And then I double check. So Dent flies out to end that inning. Bottom of the second is an 8, 9, and then a home run. So it's an 8, 9, and then a home run. And then that's a line out to the shortstop to end the inning. So as you can see, uh, up here is where you make that decision to uh, input. This would be if, if the game were being played automatically. Um, but since I have it on manual, right, I showed you how to do that earlier. You may be able to even get there from here. Maybe, maybe not. No, not from here. So let's get out of there. Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back up, I guess. Ah, okay, right here. I'm sorry. Ballpark. Go back to the, Oh, you also you can also hit up here in the upper right and go to the box score. Gives you the date, the stadium. Tells you what everybody's doing so far and so on. Very nice box score. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to, to inputting the game data. So you can see how fast this goes. So in the top of the third, it was a ground out to short, a W, and then a line out double play. This is my first one in a long time, so I'm really excited about this game because of that. So what did I say? It was a ground out to short, and then a line out double play. Uh, oh, first you got to get the runner off first. You got to get a walk, and then it's going to be. Let's see if we can find that line out double play. I may have to do that a little bit differently. Uh, it's a three-three, so it's a three-three double play. And I don't have that here, so I'm gonna, this is something that it's good that you learn how to do. Um, right here, I'm going to go to detail. I'm going to do a line out. I'm going to do a first uh, first base and then first base again, and he's going to be out. At, I'm just going to put that he's out at second. Um, there you go. So that's going to be a double play. Now guess how the end. All right, go to bottom of the third. <clears throat> it's a, a leadoff double for Bombo Rivera. So uh, 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 a leadoff double, a K, a walk, and a K. So we're going to get that out of the way. A double, a K, a walk, and a K. And now 
Um, we're going to get a three-run homer by John Castino. That's a big hit in this game. And a fly out to center field. So we go to the top of the fourth. It's a four hit by pitch, a walk, and an error that allows a runner to score. A two-base error on the second baseman, Mackinnon. So we're going to do that. So it's going to be a four. Not sure how to do that. A hit by pitch is right there. So we got that. And then it was a walk. And here's the two-base error. And we're just going to go right here and hit E plus and do it on right there, E4. And that will put runners on second and third and run scores on that error. Then it's going to be a double. And that will drive in two. And the score now is four to three. And then it's a ground ball back to the pitcher. The runner will move up, I believe, on this. Yes, the runner moves up on this. And then it's a strikeout of Brown. Bobby Brown strikes out. We go to the bottom of the fourth, four to three. It's going to be bottom of the fourth. It's going to be a single right back to the pitcher, a line out to right. So it's a single line out to the pitcher. Oh, no, actually, it's a ground out to the pitcher. So let's, uh, let's just do a ground out to the pitcher. And then we're going to do a line out to right for Weiniger. And then a ground ball by. All right, go top of the fifth. <clears throat> Leads off a double K and a walk. So it's a double a K and a walk. And uh, then it's going to be uh, Ron Jackson strikes out. And then it was Soderholm who hits into a fearless choice 4 6. <clears throat> Excuse me. Annoying. So in the bottom of the fifth, it's going to be a ground out to short, a double, a foul out to the third baseman. Foul out to third base, and then it's pop four. And I just put four for that because that means it's in the air. All right, top of the sixth inning. It's going to be a four, a nine, and a single, and then a fielder's choice. So it's a four, a nine. A single in the field of choice was 6 4. I kind of memorized that a little bit. <clears throat> and then the bottom of the sixth inning, you got a walk and a pop up and a double play. Walk, pop up to the second baseman, and it's going to be a 4 6 3. The Yanks turn a, a big double play there in the bottom of the sixth inning. The top of the seventh, a fly out, a single and a stolen base. So it's a nine, a single all the way down here to a stolen base. And, uh, and a ground out to third, and a ground out to first. That ends that inning. Then Butch Weiniger, in the bottom of the seventh inning, he leads it off. Hits right back to the pitcher. And then a line out to right. A nice dis distribution of outs in fall classic baseball. <clears throat> and then top of the eighth, getting towards the end now. And uh, still Kuzman against Underwood. That is a K, a walk, and then a 5-4-3 double play. John Castillo with a great play. And uh, so Minnesota comes back with their own double play. And bottom of the eighth, it's going to be Smalley leading off. He bounces it right back to Underwood. Then two strikeouts back-to-back -back Ks. And now we go to the top of the ninth. And we know we haven't made any changes. We check. We make sure the score is correct. And um, they should pick up one more hit here in the top of the ninth. So it's going to be Dent leading off. And there was no pinch uh, pinch hitters because we had all lefties on the bench. That's a line out to first. Dent lines out. And Bobby Brown strikes out. And then the Yanks were down to their last out. And Willie Randolph had a good day. He, at this point, he was two for three. And he's going to double again. So he ends up the day three for four with two doubles. So he doubles, puts the tying run in second base, and now it is the excitement um, with Rupert Jones, who was one for four up to that point. He steps in the box, and here's a pitch from Kuzman. Big curveball, and Rupert Jones swings and misses, and the ball game is over. And boom. You click that, and Jerry Kuzman gets the victory. And uh, Tom Underwood takes the loss. He's the MVP. Yanks are 55 and 44. The Minnesota Twins are 47 and 54. Let's look at the box score. We have all the averages here. And uh, looking good. Jerry Kuzma has a 416 ERA in reality. What kind of an ERA did he have? Uh, doesn't give me the ERA, it gives me his whip. 
but uh, in reality, he was, um, what was his, his 16 and 13 here. He's not doing as well in terms of victories. He's 8 and 10. But he can turn it around and win five or six in a row, and then he'll be right on target. So Willie Randolph steals a couple. He, he, he stole two there for his 20th. Oh, he stole one. I'm sorry. He stole one for his 20th. He had 17 stolen bases. Oh, no, he had 30 stolen bases on the season. Caught five times. So he still has two months to go. So he's headed in the right direction. A home run by Mackinnon, his fourth. Let's see what kind of, how many home runs Mackinnon hit. Remember, this is now not fall classic, but the Twins and the Yankees are being played by replay baseball. Just so you can see the, the accuracy. Mackinnon had four home runs and 319 at bats, and here he hits his fourth home run. And then, of course, it was uh, Castino with his sixth home run, and he had 13. So he may be a little bit behind on his home runs. Um, and uh, that's about it. The big inning, the big day was uh, Willie Randolph, who did hit 300 or 294. He's batting 322. And, um, and that's about it. Those are the honorable mentions. Any, any weird stuff happened down here? Um, Rupert Jones stole his 13th, and Rupert Jones had how many steals? He had 18 steals, and he stole his 13th. So he's still he's he's on the way as well um, to an accurate number of stolen bases, and that's about it. So this is Tony Porter. I hope you enjoyed the the. Um, I guess, uh, stream the uh, how to input data. And I showed you a little bit about what goes on here. Now you get you exit out of this and you're going to go back to the schedule. I'm going to replay the rest of the schedule here. I'm going to hit automatic play. And now it stops at Oakland because I'm also going to manage Oakland. It's going to be Rick Langford versus Dave Steve. Oakland at Toronto. That's going to be a blast. But take a break and play that a little bit later. And uh, this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe so that I can do more fun stuff. And uh, thanks.